Misty. Yep, the chills are good. Okay. Welcome to the Wing It Call. Hold on just a second. Well, let's hope that my goofy headset isn't going to crap out today. Welcome to the Wing It Call, December 27th, 2016. Hallelujah. It's the last Wing It Call. If, if that, everybody take a knee, please listen carefully. amazing what you can find on YouTube. Um, let's see. Oh, disclaimer, we're not attorneys, CPAs, financial advisors. Anything on this call is our opinion and is not to be considered any form of legal advice. And for the rest of the disclaimer, please go to thewingitcall.com. There's a disclaimer tab, click on that and you'll have the rest of the disclaimer. Okay, so let us get some of this stuff out of the way first. I want to thank everybody over the over the past year that has contributed in any form or fashion to this call. Your whether it was good or bad, we've all went as Tony says, we've went you got to go through it to get to it. Well, that's where we're at. We've went through it. We've got to it. Here we are. <clears throat> the call will be more than an hour today. I understand there's a lot of things that need to be said, and we're going to get to them. Wingman is here. But first off, I believe it is a senior member of Dinarland, Artmeister. Come on down. Well, good afternoon, Jerry, and good afternoon to all the currency holders out there listening. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. I know I did. We do every year, and and uh, probably a lot of you are out today using your gift cards you got, uh, buying clothing, going to restaurants, or doing whatever. That's what I'm going to do in about 10 minutes here. We're leaving to oh, go get some clothes and got a couple gift certificates for restaurants. We're going to go out and dine, do a little dining out tonight and treat ourselves. So... Anyway, um, as far as Intel goes, it's all done. The RV's done. We're just waiting for a number. That's all. So, I don't know. They keep saying every night, you know, they're coming out. I'm sure Bruce will say that tonight, too. And maybe they will. Who knows? Um, so, that uh, will make us a lot happier. I hope it comes before the end of the year for everybody's sake, of course, and start a, the new year. Very prosperous. And I want to wish you all a very prosperous new year. And I know it will be. And, um uh, so anyway, that's about all there is. Like I say, everything's really slow. I heard there was an Intel blackout somebody told me last night, and that may be true. But anyway, uh, as I say, y'all have a very prosperous and happy new year, and um, we'll uh, if Jerry starts the calls back up, if this thing don't happen, and we hope that, then we hope he don't have to start calls back up because it hasn't happened. But if he does, I'll see you then. But let's just say, well, uh, this will happen very quickly, and we'll all be off doing the things we want to do and have to do and help a lot of folks. And So um, that's about it, Jerry. So wish you also a very happy new year, and hope you had a great Christmas, too. Thank you there, senior member of Currency Land. <laughs> One of them. <clears throat> so where am I at here? So much needs to be said today. I'm going to try to get to all of it and try to get to the callers. 
Absolutely, because you're you're what make this little uh, adventure. <clears throat> oh, so much. I, I didn't write my notes down. I should have. Terrible me. The replay links, as of, uh, I'd say, Wednesday evening, will cease to be no more. I'll say that again. The replay links on my website will cease to be no more after tomorrow evening. So if you want anything, you need to go in there and download it. There are certain sections of the replays that are not are no longer available, but anything that is in November and December will be available to download until tomorrow evening. After that, no mas. So if you want if you want to save it, just download it. You know, be in your computer. Problem solved. Or, or, wait a minute, I forgot. If you go on YouTube, because there's been a gentleman that has been so kind, you can find them on YouTube. Now, they're not all in order, but I bet you if you put in a date, it's liable to come up. So YouTube will have it. There you go. Another problem solved. Gosh, I am just on the stick today. Um, got a lot of emails. Jerry, who do we follow? Who do you recommend when, when you're gone and when you're done? Nobody. I do not endorse anybody at all. Let me say that again. I am vouching for nobody. <clears throat> anybody that's, oh, hocking their wares, but refuses to bring bankers on their calls or and just speak and, and not take any Q&A like they used to, be wary. Uh, I see that, that Yosef went to the weeds, showed back up, said a little bit, and went back into the weeds. Veritas and one who believes, I'm skeptical at best, be wary. Um, We uh, we beat this horse about pretty much everybody. Dizzy was calling it again. Uh, Ray's calling it again. Tony's back. I don't know if he's given any intel or, or what he's talking about. I, I don't listen. I have enough issues of my own here. Um, there's There's plenty of information out there. You've listened. You've learned. And it's now time to put your hat on top of your head and use it for more than just a hat rack. We, I've been informed to the best of what I can hear, and I've passed on what I can that I think is worthy for a little guidance, um, a little bit of beware of these type of people. And, of course, I'm quite sure that I've endeared myself to many intel providers in the community because I'm, I'm so forthright and honest that they themselves just love me for it. <laughs> Bless my heart. Wingman, I see you're there. Come on down. Join the party. Well, today's the last day of something and the beginning of something else. My words of wisdom. Just click your heels together three times and repeat, there's no place like home, there's no place like home, there's no place like home. <laughs> you know, see uh, you back yeah. in Kansas. <laughs> I was, so, uh, before I recorded the call, I, uh, somebody had sent me an email, bless my heart, where is it at, where did I put it? Danana. It told me to put a lid on it, called me diarrhea of the mouth, and said I needed to stop uh, tweeting so much. So we, we addressed that on the, on the pre-call. Bless my heart. I didn't realize they controlled my Twitter page. D do you control my Twitter page, Ico? No. No, I do not. I don't like Twitter. I think it, I think it, 
<laughs> of course, this is going to reflect badly on you. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, th- I think I think Twitter allows any blowhard to say whatever they want and suffer no consequences. Well, I'm not now. I've been using it quite effectively. Wait a minute. Steady, Eddie. Nah, that's 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 one of the drawbacks to the internet. It allows it allows anybody to say whatever they want and and not not be held accountable. You know, look at that's that. That's true. The, 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 the internet well, a lot of things. Uh, a, a lot of things screwed up this election and this election had to go the way it went, but man, the internet just was was just a uh, a huge distraction. I hope I hope people figure out how to use it better next time. Um, it's just a, it's just a it's just an annoyance now. I can't I can't go on the face Facebook is just like is is it it's a drag. Oh, I, it's just I am drag. so glad you brought up Facebook. Now now there's a they've decided. I'll say this and then we're gonna. Why did you put your hand down? I was just getting ready to call you. I'll pick you up in just a second. Facebook, Zuckerman is related is related to Rockefeller, part of the Bilderberg Group, part of the problem. And because of all the quote-unquote fake news stories, <laughs> they've decided that they're going to use the premium fact-checking service called Snopes. That's like letting the fox into the hen house. Coke snorting, whatever else you want to call it, a he and a she run it, and they're going to do fact checking for Facebook. Whatever, you can Google it and find out. Of course, like anything else, you got to take it with a grain of salt, but. I've heard about that long before this ever showed us at Snopes. There's, a, again, discernment, everybody. Hold on, and we'll get to a little intel here in just a second. Auburn? Well, Terry, you, you do know that cocaine clears your head. It makes you think better. Well, I heard that heroin back in the day was great for the bowels and, and improved the That's complexion. Right. I was reading That's that right. back Coca-Cola in... Coca-Cola had opium in it. Yeah, well, no, they were talking about heroin in the, in the yeah. nineteen early nineteen hundreds. Was good for complexion, mm-hmm. uh, cleaned the bowels out, and <laughs> improved your your whole outlook on life. Well, if you are, ever are had you a bad serious? piece of constipation, heroin. I'm not very a bad serious. <laughs> and I go, how would you know that? <laughs> because just, once upon a time. In a land far, far away. La 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 la. No. <laughs> All right, Auburn. What is guys. it? I'm gonna miss you guys. Why can't I just gonna... come on here and say I'm gonna miss you guys? Oh, okay. Well, that, so you... we're gonna miss you too. Yeah, yeah. But you know yeah, what? Sure, there are some people. Here, I like to make a comment about this. Later. You got to get out there, Jerry, and you got to just put one hell of a tweet out there now. <laughs> We're all going to hell in a handbasket. I've got my hand on the rudder and my nose in the wind. We'll be there in no time. Just hold on. That's right. All right. Well, good luck to you all. And again, I've never had the pleasure of talking to Art. Good intel today, Art. So thanks, guys. You're welcome. Put your hand. I'll put it down for you. There you go. Okay. Star two to raise your hand. I'm sure there's a lot of people who want to ask questions. Be on the web. Come on down. Hey, Jerry. Hey. Hey. Just want to say thank you for all that you and Ico and Art have done. Um, after Tony left, you you picked up the mantle and ran with it, and you did a really great job. Going to miss you. I still think the banks are behind this whole thing, uh, holding it up. 
but that's my opinion. Anyways, enjoy life and have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm quite sure the other Intel providers are out there glad that this is my last call. And that's another thing. They're going to wait a little bit, and then they're going to kick right back in uh, because there's nobody to, to call them on the carpet or hold, hold their feet to the fire. Now, for the rumors out there from, hey, what about that rumor? There was a power outage in, in, in New York, and it slowed it up. Horse pucky. Biggest load of, of, of crap that I've heard in a while. When when uh, Kuwait did theirs, there was hardly any infrastructure. Of course, the internet wasn't up very much then, and not very many people heard about it. But when when uh, and it's a totally different scenario. I'll just stop. Totally different scenario. So. This is about the bigger, it's past geopolitical. It's about the battle between good and evil and trying to do betterment for humanity and bring us out from underneath being wage slaves and slave labor, peasants and serfs. We have a better heart, and, it, and it's, it's our time. So other rumors, let's see. They say there's stuff going on in Reno. Uh, if there was, if there is, I've heard a little bit, but again, the numbers are not out. There's no numbers out that I've heard of. There's nobody that have, has exchanged yet unless it's for SKRs. Or if somebody has exchanged and the bank has given them a line of credit because they, they know this person and they want to feather their, their cap a little bit, that could be a no-no and get themselves in trouble. That would be illegal. But I'm sure they found ways around that, too. If, if there's a will, there's a way. When this goes down, just be ever vigilant, and, and I hate to say this, but the but the blogs, you've got to read a mile of poo poo to get that inch worth of of nugget information. And let me tell you, uh, today I decided to go in there and, and look at you know eight or nine different sites from from uh, Dinar Chronicles to Recraps to Dinar Guru. I looked at them all: Dinar Daily, Dinar Daddy. Until I had to put drops in my eyes, I'm like, oh, my God, the poo-poo is long and distinguished. The bottom line, no matter what anybody says, until you're walking in for your exchange and walking out with a receipt that says you are wealthy, everything else is poo-poo. I don't know how any better to say that or, or how, many, how politically correct I can say it. And that's not one of my fortes. And I'm trying. I really am. I, I had a talk. Wingman said, look, you've you, you got to clean it up a little bit, especially if you're going to be in high finance. They, they don't always say black and white is black and white because you can't be like that. You've got to be a little more, got to have some more panache in my pants. Sometimes that panache gets so full that I got to go change my diaper. So back to the intel. There really isn't any. We're not at the bank. We get all the, the raise you up like a hot air balloon and then cut the rope and the basket falls to the ground. It looks like a freaking roller coaster. So, wingman? Yeah. What? Want me to say something? Yeah. I, I, I want to hear from the other folks on the call. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. You know. Okay, I was just corrected. 
Zuckerberg is not related to the Rockefeller family. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to read all that, but thank you for that. Appreciate that. Okay. That's why I thought he was. I thought I'd read something, but again, memory has failed me. Houston, can you hear me now? 281. Redneck Radio. Yeah, Jerry, how you doing? I'm sorry to see you go. Uh, you had a pretty good run, but those things happen. Uh, I guess as a last parting shot, uh, maybe we can get from you. I don't know if I left of that. He says he's going to go on a, on a <clears throat> shopping spree. But what's his latest on the uh, your projected date, maybe the back door, and maybe the latest rates? This is your last call. You might as well just give the latest rates that you've heard for the Dinar, the Dong, and the Zim. And, and one last Hi. thing. Can you can you settle once and for all? What happens to that girl? The girl that goes to the river? Do you take them fishing? Do they go on a picnic or what? You never really explain that. Well, let me well, let me put it to you really simple. They both went to the river, and when they both came back, they had big old smiles the mortician couldn't wipe off. So you can just extrapolate it from there, okay? Well, that can be a lot of things. Uh, exactly. Be, you know, a uh, there you go. Alrighty, sir. Thank you. As for the date and the rate, here's the best I can do. I said about a month ago, out with the old, in with the new. Well, we're not that far from the end of the old and in with the new. That's my best guess. As for the rates, you see them all over to Narland. For me to try to nail down anything, not going to happen. Raleigh, Redneck Radio, go ahead. 919. Is that one me? That's you. Okay, yeah, because I know there's another 919 with his hand up. Um, hey, Iko, question. You had mentioned 23 yep. and a half million people hold the NAR. Where does that number come from? Good question. That's a number that I tell you think. I would think who told me that one. Well, um, we we had heard uh, Tony had mentioned way back when that there was X amount of currency holders, and that was of all the currencies. And as as it kept going along, that number kept growing, and that's where we heard that number from. Yeah, but I but that was pretty recent. That was like within the last six months. I heard that number. I'm just trying to remember who. Who said, yeah, is it, is it somebody who would um, know, or is it just floating around in Dinar land? That, no, it, it, no, it you know, it, 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 if it, it, it's someone, it's someone who is pretty reliable with statistics. It'll, it'll come to me. I'm having a senior moment. Okay, it, yeah. It, when it comes it, back, you can jump in any time yeah. later. Yeah, hey, was, um, so oh, I know, I know, I know. Through? You know what? <laughs> I, I know who, it, I know who it was. Um, I'm not allowed to actually say his name because he is a Dinar. What you would call it? Um, what would you call it? He's well known in Dinar land, um, and he is under a gag order, and he shared that privately. Uh, so I was a bad boy by by bringing it out. But it, the point was to illustrate that the the numbers of people, and again, the majority of those folks. The other part of that statistic is the majority of those folks only have one twenty five thousand dollar note, or maybe a hundred thousand. Uh, dong note or something to that effect. So a lot of a lot of these numbers came from leaders of various organizations and churches uh, recommending to their memberships, you know, go out and spend twenty nine bucks, you know, and maybe you'll walk away with a million dollars, kind of thing. Uh, and that's that's the, that that is the majority of of those millions. Um, the point was to illustrate, though, that there were roughly five or six thousand hardcore currency investors out there, which, according to the powers of B, that was too many for the system to handle. You know, people who had who were going to walk away with multi-billions of dollars if particular rates were honored. That's where that, that's mm -hmm. how that conversation started. So, um, okay. that's, about the, that's about the best. There you go. Yeah. So, um, so Art can go to Bruce's call and, hey, maybe, uh, Dizzy will invite you on as a guest speaker there, Iko. <laughs> oh, no, no. Dizzy, Dizzy and I had a falling out 
long time ago. Oh, I um, know, I know. We're just trying yeah. to throw a little levity in there. Yeah. No, he, <laughs> uh, I, I think that if if Dizzy had to choose between Jerry and Ico, Ico would win hands down. If he had to have somebody yeah. on his call, Ico, because I'm I'm I am at the top of the A list. <laughs> yes, and that's not the, and that's that's not the letter A. That's the word that begins with A. <laughs> hey, don't just remember keep your words clean and use donkey divot mm-hmm. instead of something else. Donkey right. divot. I Thanks. I like horse. What was that? Horse puckers. What did you say before? Horse pucky. Poo poo. Horse pucky. <laughs> I never heard that one. Oh. All right. You guys have a good one. Thank you for everything you've done. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You know, um, they have my number. If I call in and Dizzy's call over there, they have my number put up there. And as soon as I call in, it goes click, disconnected. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Kidding. Yeah. Well, I was I was I was called and said, "Hey, you need to get on a Dizzy call. He's on a rant. He must be on them umbrella drinks again." I said, "Okay." So I called in there. wasn't even on thirty seconds. Goodbye. <laughs> Way go two five four. Come on down. Waco, two five four. Hey Jerry, how's it going? A lot of background noise there. Can you take me off the speaker and put it on there? It's picking up a lot of background noise. How about now? Much better. Can you hear me? Much better. All yeah. right. Much better. Huh. I just want to say uh, thank you guys for everything y'all have done. Um, Ico, you've given probably the best intel out there as well. Um, you tell the truth, and I really appreciate it. Um, I am going to miss you guys. And, Jerry, since you're not too far for me, one day we need to meet up and have that blue moon. Well, you know, send me, send me an email to the, to the wing it so that uh, I don't forget. I will. If you if you saw all the numbers in my desk drawer, <laughs> okay. I, I believe you. I believe you. Yes, I'll do that. And then, uh, again, thanks guys for everything. I'm gonna miss Cheryl's call because usually when I uh, I drive uh, my work, uh, I listen to you guys. And uh, once again, appreciate for everything y'all have done. Put put your put your name in the subject line along with your city because I'm looking at it right here. Okay. Your first name we'll starts. Your first name starts with an S, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Very good. Put your name in there, and then I'll it'll it'll be a reminder for me. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, I almost want to say lost lost gallows, but it's lost gatos. 408. Hello, I'm just getting out of uh, a store. Hang on. Hello. Um, did you did you buy me some all, Blue Moon? I would love to buy you some Blue Moon next time I'm in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> now, seriously, I'll send you an email as well. Okay. And first of all, sorry to see you go. You need a month off. Hopefully. We hear back from you sometime in February if this hasn't gone live. Um, basically, we don't know what's going to, to occur when we actually are in the exchange center. The, uh, the best thing we can do is to ask questions, it seems to me, and drill down um, on everything they say and ask questions based on what they're telling us. Um, there you go. But it is so perplexing that this has gone on, and I've been in this for about five years, and actively every week on somebody's call. You, you, I have been a lifeline for me uh, because I just can't listen to the other people. Um, and I just want to thank you very much for everything you've done. Um, and uh, I hope that we hear from you again if this hasn't occurred. But hopefully um, 
we won't have that issue. And I'm going to be downloading some of your calls, and I, I want to thank you very much. So <clears throat> what do I do any different from any other caller? All I do is just tell the truth. That's it. You know, it, it's you're you're easy to listen to, um, and you're pretty frank. And I uh, enjoy your your you know no BS. I also like Ico. I I like the there's a balance between the three of you, an art, uh, and. It's just been very enjoyable. I mean, I enjoyed listening to Tony, um, and I have a difficult time lis listening to Ray. Ray is Ray, and uh, God bless him. I I may listen to him again just because I need to hear something about the direction that we're going. But um, other than that, you have just been um, – you know, if you don't know, you don't know. And if you know, you kind of give us the information. So I really appreciate that. And I just want to say thank you. Well, thank you very much. And have, yeah, have yeah, a ha happy new year. Thanks. I, I, think, I think, yeah, Jared, I think, I think this is a good time. A couple of things that, that I feel comfortable saying now um, uh, that, that, that hopefully will help some folks. Don't be surprised. First of all, I, 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 I totally believe that anybody on this call, if you're spending the time to be on this call, you will hear about this exchange in a timely manner and plenty of time to get in and take care of business. Don't be surprised if there's a little more paperwork involved than you were expecting. Um, you know, don't be surprised if you know more than the person sitting across the table from you. But don't don't throw it in their face, you know. Just just use it in the background. You use all this stuff that we've been talking about, um, uh, and 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 keep it in the back of your mind when you're talking to these folks. Um, but they they may there may be a little more. Uh, uh, what's the word I want to use? Um, uh, it may be a little stricter, especially if you have a good deal to exchange. They may want you to talk about yourself a little bit, um, you know, because they, because it's know your customer, you know that that's a that's a real thing to these to these to these people. And if you're in a situation where you end up, let's say you might end up in a law firm somewhere, exchanging, um, that's a possibility too. I'm not saying that's a reality, but 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 that, that's something that that could be out there. Don't be intimidated. You know, uh, it's it's because you you're you're uh, you're on a different rung of the ladder, um, and it's their job to make sure the person that they're giving this money to, uh, you know, is is legit, is who they say they are, who doesn't have a criminal record, you know, and 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 also here's a funny one: don't worry if you've got an IRS problem. <laughs> I love this. I just love this. It's like yeah, so you know. That's not what they're looking for. That that's not what they care well, about. Well, you know, they, they care about if you're a drug dealer, a gun runner, you know, uh, uh, a child molester. Or do you work for the government? <laughs> yeah, right. Or do you work for the government? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's again, just to, it may not be as simple as it, as as has been advertised, but that's okay. They're doing their job. This is a lot of money. You know, and they're they're just doing their job, so don't don't get frazzled by that. Thank you so much. Do you, what, do you travel to Texas in business? Yes. Where to? Yes, Austin, primarily. Oh, I'll I'll forgive you for going to Austin. <laughs> well, it's it's a what? great state, and I love it. They gotta put those liberals um, somewhere. <laughs> Actually, I'm a centrist, but um, <laughs> this, what? Uh, uh, In this what crowd, that makes saying, you a liberal. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's funny. Oh God! Um, if, if, if you, uh, what you 
said about the banks wanting to know their customer. It is absolutely true, mm-hmm. and it has been a trend for the last um, two years, solid two years. Yes. And it has been more uh, where they ask you almost invasive questions about who you are and how much money do you have and what do you own. So uh, people yeah. do need to be prepared for that kind of um when they ask you that question, life. when when they ask you what do you own, you just flop your little your your bank bag down there and say, "I own this." Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. thank you, ma'am. Thanks, and have a great um, 2017. Bye you for too, now. Thanks. Bye. Utspa. You know, I had to chime in. The last call of the uh, of the season, uh, I, I guess until you decide you want to come back, if you ever decide to do it, I just wanted to formally say so long, not goodbye, but so long to you gentlemen, for really brightening up my day. And you really, you, you have that certain, that, that charisma about you, uh, Jerry and, uh, and, and Iko, and Art as well. In your own way, you have you have a certain certain something, you know. They they say in, in what French, je ne sais quoi, something. You got that certain something, that special, you know, that certain that certain something that that really that op- not only opens people's eyes to you know the truth of what you're saying, but it just gives people. I, it gives me. I'm talking for myself. It gives me uh, something to look forward to when I when I speak to you guys. It just gives me. It brightens up my day. It really does. You, you got that certain something, I, I, and I really can't explain it except that I, I really feel good about you know just even if a, a five minute call or just saying you know thank you for everything you've done. So I just wanted to say that, and that uh, I really I really enjoyed all the all the you know all the information and and the personalization of your phone calls. I mean you actually do care about people and that's so important today you don't find uh you know mostly you know when you're like you call up like and i'm not trying to put anybody else down but like like ray ren it's very impersonable you know you guys got that that uh that, that caringness about you you know what i'm saying you you got to know what i'm saying because yeah i'm sure you feel it in your hearts too so i, I just really yeah. wanted to say thank you for everything you've done and and if we, you know, if our paths cross again, that's going to be a good day. It's going to be a really good day. And Thank you, what Mike. I, I wanted to say one other thing, um, not to cut you off, I wanted to say one other thing. This NDA business, uh, I, I really have a strong feeling against this because you are signing, basically you're, you're signing a, 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 a legal binding document that, Man, if you screw up, I mean, you know, you can even say down the line that you, you know, it's just let's just say for arguments you sign it and everything looks good, and you know, a few months go down the road, you know, you may get an update from the bank saying, hey, listen, you know, you, you know, you're going to have to sign the update too because you signed the original one. You may be some uh, things on that document that may prevent you from spending the money the way you really want to. You know, you you don't know what you know what's what's coming. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what may be absolutely may not be. So just be aware. That's why about I've, that. I've always said take it, take an attorney. Well, even an attorney, you're taking because he's really not going to know that much about it. Even if you take an attorney with you, you still signed the original document. You don't know what the second one's going to bring, or the third, or if there's going to be a fourth. You don't know. And really, uh, thinking about the Zim and everything, I mean, geez, you're gonna, we're going to have so much money at the international rate. Think about it. If, if they're going to go full face value, which I still find hard to believe, but let's just assume, for argument's sake, that that's true, that they're going to give you full face value on $100 trillion. I mean, that's so far out of left, left field, I can't really comprehend it. But let's just say, for argument's sake, that that's true. I mean... <laughs> there's got to be, uh, you know, know. I, I know. There can't. There's so much money involved. You're not going to be able to spend it in, in five lifetimes, even if you give most of it away. 
I'm sorry. Right. I mean, so you just got to remember that even at the international rate, you're going to make out big time. So don't find if you don't exactly. have to find it, don't. That's all I'm saying. Got it. Thank you, sir. So God bless you guys, man, and thank you for everything. And and truly, try my recipe. You're really going to like it. I think you're really going to like it. Uh, I actually gave it to somebody, and I'm going to call them and ask them how they liked it. All righty. All right. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Have a good one. So long, Ico. God bless. Bye. Um, he did bring up a point here. <clears throat> Bruce on his call, and this is why I'm a little. It's got it's got a a yellow red flag together raised. <clears throat> saying about adopt a town, work with him through whatever what he's doing. Um, they've got some ideas. He, he's pushing. He's pushing pretty hard for you to join join him. I understand it. It could be a good hearted thing, but before you just jump in and throw your money into his pot, step back. Let the attorneys read everything. Don't say, "Well, I've listened to Bruce for years, and 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 it's okay." No, 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 no. This is business. And that's another thing. No family members, no relations in your business. Don't hire them. If you need to, make them a, a beneficiary of your trust. But do not let any family members in to do business with you. Recipe for disaster, capital D. It, it Back to Bruce. rarely works out. Rarely does it work out. And, and that includes your bestest buddy, your wife, or your husband. Absolutely not. No. Creates conflict. If you want to have harmony in the household, and the women are going to love this, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. So let's let's keep the harmony. Back to Bruce. I have my concerns there. I'm I'm voicing my concerns so that ever I don't hide a I don't have a pretense here. That's my concern. Why why push so hard? It it should be on his part. Look, if you'd like to join, we're going to do this. Not hey, come on down. You know, there's opportunities here. It's more like highly suggestive asking and just trust me. Well, we all know about trust me. It's the same thing as saying the check's in the mail. And there's a few other adjectives to go with that, but uh, I think we'll stop right there. Trust only goes as far as you can throw a rock, and I can't throw very far anymore. All right, I've said my piece about that. Oh, West Point. Wait, hold on, West Point. Rodeo Drive. Rodeo. Well, hello. I would like to thank Art, Ico, and you, Jerry, for entertaining us, informing us, enlightening us, um, like nobody else. You've made us laugh. You made us think. And... Um, I am personally just so grateful for everything that you've done. Now, on asking about, you know, is there a higher rate, I think that that's just being greedy, you know, because we're going to get good rates. And no on the NDA, because even now on some of the credit cards that I signed years ago, I'm getting new information on how much more interest they're going to charge and everything else. So you're right. You never know what they're going to come up with in the future. But I just truly want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for just being you. Thank you. And are you feeling better than today? Well. I'm fe Actually, I am feeling very good today. And um, that's why I wanted to call in because it was the last call and and thank you and, and say our paths will cross again. Absolutely. 
and thank you for listening. It's been my pleasure. Have a good day. You too. Bye. West Point, uh, sorry, I had to override you there. Uh, Rodeo Drive takes the cake there. Go ahead, West Point. <laughs> no worries, Jerry. Thank you again for taking my call, and I wish uh, you, Ico, Art, nothing but the best, and thank you very much. You've really helped, in my eyes, of really um, upping my IQ with everything that's going on and having the most honest and truthful conversations with you guys on a weekly basis. You guys have provided a lot of great information that hopefully, you know, a lot of people can take away. Um, the, the the thing that I also wanted to um, uh, share is that, you know, people oh, need hold to on, hold use... on, yes. hold, hold on just a second. Ed, good riddance, because uh, if you're following me, it's over for you, bud. Goodbye. His quote was, he just put on Twitter here, for somebody that tells the truth, you sure are bashing other providers. Well, he said, good riddance. Well, I just sent him packing to the block pile. Re-register and come back in. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Um, no, it's just interesting that people, you know, Art and both you have mentioned use discernment. Do your research. Follow up. And there's some people that keep constantly putting out the same information on all their calls on a weekly basis, calling it certain days, hoping that the stock market does this. And it's just interesting that people do not seem to pick up on the concept that you guys have been honest and open about the intel and truthful. So hopefully people can take away this, and, you know, it is going to be missed. In my eyes, your call is going to be truly missed, and I appreciate everything you've done. And just had a question for Ico. Now that oil prices are starting to go up a little bit, they're creeping up, has he seen anything in the ports, any type of movement by itself? Oh, I can, no, I can answer that. No. Well, go ahead. No, no, no. You, I thought you were still – go ahead, wingman. I was, I was, I was just going to – I was just going to say you're going to when, – when it, when it finally hits 60, that's when you're going to see a lot of maneuvering. Um, and whether it makes it takes whether it makes it into international courts or local courts or, or it, it's gonna it's going to create a lot of movement in every direction because it will be it will be uh, uh, you can sell it for enough for the shale operations to get back into business. It's going to be you know there's going to be pressure for more of these pipelines. Um, there's going to be pressure over in the Middle East for everybody to tow the company line and not break away you know that the target is at 60 bucks and that's what it's climbing up to so that's when i think you're going to see a lot of movement um hopefully all of this will be underway by then and uh a there'll be the there'll be the the the, uh, the, the countries will have the, the purchasing power to to uh to handle the 60 dollar a barrel but also um there'll be enough money around so that the oil producing countries have different revenue streams. That's another thing that the GCR is going to accomplish. By it's not only weaning us off of off of our dependency on uh petrochemicals, it's it's weaning the petrochemical producers away from the the idea that they have to do only that to get their uh you know their 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 incomes. Um, to have their gross national product support the lifestyle they want. It's it's uh, it's a fa it's a fascinating time for all that stuff. It's just amazing, and like and I'll credit Dizzy Bear with this. Uh, uh, his main source when he asked, he said, "What's the new game? Or what what are the new rules?" And 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 the guy said, "We don't even know what the new game is." So um, so that all ties into that. That's that's my that that's my answer. To that I hope that helps. We're right. We're, yes, we're right below that. That we're right below that whole batch of activity. So, all right. Well, thank you, gentlemen, yeah. and happy New Year to you guys. Hey, West Point. Did 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 you ever see all that stuff that was put on? Um, did you were you ever on the on the Wing It forum that I closed down? 
Um, in terms of what stuff, the were, were you were were you a member of the Winged Forum or or and I what I'm getting up, at is I, did you yeah did did you ever see that all that crap put out by by Denar Daly about what Jerry Maguire looked like? Yes. Okay. Hold hold that thought. Okay. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> I, hey, I, you Auburn. Know, I, those are those are knuckleheads. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Auburn. Oh, Auburn. Oops. Auburn, Washington. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, that really ugly person. <laughs> are you really trying to make me lose it? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I have I have a question for you. Okay, go ahead. Do you know what I look like, and can you verify that it is me in that photo? Which photo? Are you talking about the, the ugly fat guy? The, that is not you, Jerry. <laughs> no, 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 the one with, with my dog. Oh, that's you, yeah. So is there, is there any correlation between... What I look like versus that that the 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 Gary Maguire that they so proudly put out there. No. <laughs> You're killing me. That okay. was the well, grossest I, I, picture. Seriously, that was the huh? grossest picture. Who would do that? And who is that? <laughs> yeah, right. I I don't know. I don't Ugh. know. All right. Thank you, Auburn. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, thank you, Anap West Point. Atlanta, Hot Atlanta, seven seven zero. That me, Jerry. That's you. Good afternoon. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Uh, you probably recognize the number, Jerry. I used to walk to the Great Danes out in the backyard talking to you, but I've been trying to get on for the last few weeks, but. Uh, just wanted to say thank you so much for everything, everything. Uh, you've enlightened us. You've shown us the truth. And uh, I think everybody here appreciates it. We're going to miss you. But uh, for sure, we hope it doesn't have to take till February to fire you back up. The thing will go before that. Just wanted to. Well, I'm hoping. Best wishes to you. Well, thank because you very much, and I appreciate that. Jerry tells the truth and nothing but the truth, and that's, that's what we want to hear. So thank you. God bless you, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you sometime, somehow. Well, you know, they, the liberals the liberals are my friends. <laughs> if, if you're talking to me, you're talking to the wrong cow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the, the liberals love me. All right, thank you, sir. They should now. <laughs> North Bend, four two five. Hi there. I couldn't let uh, today go by without saying thank you, as w and joining my words and my heart and mind with the others that have called in and those who haven't. That to tell you how much we all appreciate you and and the level of honesty and truth and frankness and and bluntness uh, that you have given us without any frosting on it at all. And I wanted to say that I, um, I actually agree with Heiko this time about the about waiting for the oil to get up there around the $60 level. And um, one of the things I also did not know was going on was that there's still some business between uh, Kuwait and Iraq with regard to finding uh, treasures that Saddam Hussein uh, took off with, as well as burial sites. Um, that uh, I hate to say this, but that really has no bearing on on this global part. It's just things that they're finishing up. That's all. Well, I kind of thought that. I really thought that mostly it was the $60 deal, or at least so that it could it could verify their their budget and they could make some money 
But anyway, the most important thing I wanted to say was to God bless all of you and bless you and thank you for the truth that you bring because if we get enough garbage um, on the Internet looking at that stuff, you begin to pick it out and you just your, your spirit just won't handle it. So thanks very much, Jerry. Yeah, I also, I just, I just want to clarify, I'm not saying in any way that we're waiting for $60 a barrel oil for this to happen. All I'm saying is, is that, in answering the other gentleman's question, is that, is that when it does reach 60 there's going to be a lot of infighting in the oil industry. But that has no bearing whatsoever on when when the, the, the RV slash GCR, well, the GCRs are started, but, you know, the, the, the retail RV where we get to exchange, um, that's not it, that's not waiting on $60 a, a barrel oil. It's not waiting on Israel to stop settling the West Bank. It's not, it's not waiting on Trump to be inaugurated. Uh, it's not waiting on Greece to finally default once and for all. None of that stuff is driving this. Those are all results of this taking place and being uh, implemented. Those are all um, just results now. It's not uh, Iraq, you know, Iraq uh, declaring their, their $3.71 international rate, et cetera. That's all a result of the RV and the GCR. They are not the things that are causing it to happen. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. God bless. God mm -hmm. bless you, too. Thank you. I just got a, a text that says that the alcohol consumption just went up in Utah. Specifically, margarita machines are all abuzz right now. Don't know why. They, they just say they got to have a sedative. Can't take it. Drinking has commenced in the Mormon country. <laughs> oh, Toronto, 416. Hello, oh, Jerry, Ico, and Art. I just Red have a, a quick farewell for you. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Okay, well, I hope this comes through clearly, so just give, bear, bear with me for one minute. I really hope that this is your last call, and I hope you don't get offended by that comment. And um, I want to thank you guys for uh, your your pragmatic, redneck approach to this uh, currency exchange. And, and I think there's been a lot of really great comments. Um, uh, and to answer your question, like what what is different about your call than the others? Um, and, and I think it's the three of you. You know, Art. I mean, even though Art does get a chance to regurgitate some of the hopium, he does it in such a, a down low way that it doesn't allow people to get too crazy with it. And you, your BS meter, Jerry, is, is beyond reproach. I think that's a, a really good balancing act out there. And of course, Ico uh, just brings the facts in, in a lot of cases, and he's a, a real digger to uh, source out uh, the kind of facts that are out there. Um, and, and that's what I think makes this call such a great call to listen to because there is so much hype going on with this and there's a lot of deception whether it's unintentional or intentional um, I, I guess we'll we'll find out at the end of this when when we get to the end of this uh, journey exactly what you know really was true and what wasn't true but uh, I mean your your wisdom and your advice to all of us has been a godsend and you really have been a a common mm. influence on all of us. So that much, I think, is uh, very much appreciated. Now, Aiko, you had mentioned, both you and Art actually said, um, that things were not going to be what we think they're going to be at the end of that. Now, I just wanted to clarify, did you ever flush that out? Like, Are you talking about rates specific or procedures or um, the terms we get with our money on deposit, or is it the whole package? I would I would say mostly about procedure. Um, you know, it, it it I 
again, I'm repeating myself a little bit, but but I think the model that Tony and DC put out, you know, three and a half years ago, uh, was was you know what they were being given, um, and what they were they were extrapolating from the from their own intel, but it's just not it's not that it's not that simple. It's it's not that cut and dry, um, and that's the thing probably most that's going to surprise most people. I think I think. You know, again, we're, we're not stating rates, but I think the the uh, I'll just I'll just go ahead and say it that the you know the 371 for the for the DNR and the the two something for the dong and the the uh, dollar eight for the rupiah uh, those those rates those are probably pretty accurate. Now, of course, the Zim is the wild card, but but again, um, uh, what we're calling the international rates, the non NDA rates. And, and again, just to make a distinction now, the ZIM, the ZIM is, no matter what rate the ZIM comes out with, I don't think it will be uh, uh, exempt from an NDA. There's just too much money there. If you yeah. get to exchange your ZIM, if you get to swap out your ZIM, you're going to sign an NDA. Yeah. The ZIM is a separate issue. You know, the others are, are actual currencies. Get away with not signing an NDA for a natural for a currency because... That's it. This is the international rate. You go into the bank, you, you plop down your, your currency, and you say, "I want to do this." Um, and, I, and you know, if it's under a million bucks, they'll say one thing. If it's over five million dollars, they're going to say another. And if it's over fifty million dollars, you're going to have a discussion with somebody about that much money. Because first of all, right. you go in, you go into Wall Street. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to send you over to have it down. They're not going to handle that kind of money. Or um, in my case, but it's, mostly, it's mostly yeah, yeah, right, right, exactly. So, but but it's mostly procedure is the thing that that I just want to caution everybody on, and and I and I say that with with uh, um, I say that with the utmost confidence that procedure is not going to be what we all thought it would be, and location for a lot of us isn't going to be what we thought it could be, and I'm not stepping on anybody's toes by saying that. Um, it just makes good business sense. Um, and uh uh yeah, so so that's and, it. The and you know, for that rate. part guys, I, I think that's the one thing that I am most grateful for because we've batted this whole thing around uh, a million different ways and checked out all the different angles and I and I think now at least I don't know if I'm speaking for the rest of the Denmark Denmark community, but I know I am fairly confident now no matter what curveball gets thrown at me, I'll be able to go with the flow with this and, and be confident mm -hmm. to understand, you know, what to expect, how to react, uh, not get my head in the clouds too much. I mean, this is – this whole – I, I call this an, an education process, really, because this is like, uh, you know, uh, learning how to be a, a gazillionaire 101, right? So – um, yep. Without yep. all of this, it, it would have been a very scary proposition to walk in there and exchange huge amounts of money. Mm -hmm. you know, we can't, so you know, that, we can't think... emphasize, can't emphasize more the whole this whole concept of take your time. Yeah, Just take absolutely. Your time. Don't absolutely. feel pressured to do anything. You know, so that is what I'm most grateful too. for, guys, and I really appreciate everything that you've done in, in that in that area to help get us ready and, and get our minds prepared and get our hearts aligned. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless. And like I said, I hope this is our last call. Me too. Me too. All right. Bye. All right. <laughs> Take care. You know, I'm going to go out on a limb out here because I think I know who this is. And you know me, I'm an equal opportunity shooter. From the hip. Be respectful. You're mixing your metaphors again. <laughs> Be respectful. Wisdom on the web. I think I know who this is. Why, hello there, sir. Uh huh. So, no negativity. I no, will, we, we all know the choices that we've made. We don't need to be reminded. No, 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 no. Go I'm ahead. not reminded of that because. Uh, that will witness it itself very shortly. Now, what I, I do want to say, uh, Iko, uh, I commend you for being very level-headed. Um, I like your phrase, 
things have changed from three years ago. That's exactly right. Things have changed three years ago. Uh, things may not be what they appear to be, which is very true. As far as art, uh, I, I tend to agree with the gentleman. Uh, art can give out a little bit of hopium, but at the same time, you got to hold it back a little bit because uh, there are going to be some monetary uh, distributions, but not in the sense that people think. And I'm going to leave it at that because okay, that so now I, now I have one. I've allowed you many times to talk. I just want yes, you to yes, answer yes, one yes, question yes. for yes, me. Yes, you have. If you have no skin in the game, and you know that it's a free choice by everybody, why do you continue to come on? Because there are so many good people, good Christian people, are being are being manipulated and being uh, taken. Um, wow. I, it's very hard for me. I, I understand that, but you have no skin in the game, correct? I'm a messenger. I'll put it that way. Okay. I'm a messenger, well, you, with, you, a, you, I'm a messenger with a I, heart. And and I am also. So anyway, thank you for calling in. I see you can change your, your name and your city and all that, but I still have that, that sixth sense that tells me who's on the line. Well, you know what? Uh that serves you very, very well. And once again, uh, be uh, be concerning about certain things because all that glitters is not gold. And that's what I, I understand. Say. And that's my last last word for the day. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you. This isn't. Uh, this is not the person I think it is. I have an idea. Honolulu, 808. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> yes, I just wanted to call you because um, I really appreciate your call. I just look forward for your call, and today's the last day. And so I wanted to turn in and, and talk with you. And thank you so much, Jerry, Michael, and Art, because I really enjoy it, because you speak the truth, and I'm a truth, truth speaker. Well, thank you. So I just wanted to call in and appreciate everything that you do. Somebody asked me, how come I listen to Wing It Call? I said, because it's all the truth. And I, and I think like them and think like me. And it's wonderful. I really appreciate it. And this is the first time I've called in. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> and thank you for listening. Of course. I really enjoy it. I, I just enjoy all right. it. So I really appreciate it. Okay. And aloha and maha. Mahalo means um, thank you, and Haole Makihikiho means Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and all I got to say is drink drink more beer. Drink, I, don't, I don't drink beer. I don't drink liquor. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. thank you. Aloha. 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 Uh, it says Cleburne, last for your number is one. Two two nine. Good afternoon, Jerry. How are you? Uh, rednecking today. Uh, well, this is Redneck Medic South of you, so that's about what I'm doing right now. Uh, I just uh, want to thank you, Michael and Art, for all the honest information that you've given to us. Uh, it's been greatly appreciated, sir. This is not really a goodbye for me, just a, some way to see you later, and our, our paths will cross in the future. May you and yours Absolutely. have a blessed New Year, sir. Again, thank you for all you've done for us on this call. Greatly appreciated from the Redneck Medic. I'm out, sir. <laughs> have you have you told everybody that you're the Redneck Medic now? Everybody knows it, sir. I've been in it for 16 years. Well, uh, let's hope that we don't meet in the back of your van, okay? If you do, you've got the best, best possible medic you ever have <laughs> on your hand, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate you very much. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, those people there. I don't know if I could do it because when you see that much tragedy, trauma, day in and day out, you, you got to take a break. All right.
Now then, home of the world's second best barbecue, 816. Jerry? Yes, sir. How you doing, Jerry and Ico and Art? I appreciate you guys and all that you brought to us. I heard some Ico said about the currencies. He kept saying if, if we get to change exchange out to Zim. That if, that's what he got me on. Does that mean anything, or I'm looking too far into that? Uh, okay. Can you hear me? Am I still on mute? No, you're there. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. No. Don't. 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 Um. Let me. Let me. I'll. I'll. Because it. Because it does. I understand it. It needs to be uh, reinforced. Here's what I'm saying. I'm saying that everybody on this call is in good standing, and the reason they're in good standing, the reason you guys are in good standing, about about getting to getting to exchange getting the best rate that, that's going to be offered, whatever it is, okay, and all of that, and get in there on time is because you're paying attention. And I'll go so far as to say that the people who are really controlling this whole thing, who aren't the people who are being told they're controlling it, are looking for folks who, who, have the, who, who have the lights on, you know, the lights on in somebody's home. That's who they're looking for to manage this money. That's who they're looking to give this money to, and and the fact that the fact that you are doing what you're doing and listening to the calls and weighing all the different intel and making up your own minds, um, you're I don't want to call it a shoe in, but but you're the ones they want to give the money to. When I say if, it's all these other folks, you know, and and I'll I'll a perfect example, a perfect example. Um, especially because so many folks here are are Christian and belong to conservative Christian congregations, is the the uh, uh, the pastor who stands up there and says, "Hey, you know what, everybody, buy one of these notes, buy a twenty five thousand dollar dinar note, and tie ten percent to the church." Um, now, I'm not saying that's exactly how everybody's presented it, but that was that's a huge chunk of the DNR population, the currency holder population. Now, they've done that because their pastor asked them to do it, which is fine, but they're not listening to these calls. You know, if somebody suddenly comes up with, you've got 30 days to exchange your DNR before it becomes an obsolete currency, you're not going to hear about that. We're going to hear about it because we're paying attention. And we're going to make darn sure we're in there exchanging before that 30-day period is up. And I use that example because that's what they just did in India. Okay? In three days, in three more days, 86% of the currency in the nation of India is going to become obsolete. And half of the people in rural India are never going to know it. And all of a sudden, they're going to go. They're going to put out an old 100 rupee note, and it's going to be no good. And boy, are they going to be upset. But they didn't hear about it. There's no internet. There's no cell phone service. You know, that's that's the that's the difference here. The folks who are paying attention are all going to be fine. But most of these people are not paying attention in the way they needed to, and they weren't instructed right. to. They weren't taught to do that. So that's that's the if. That's the that's the if side of the, the equation. Okay. One more question, Jerry. I, I emailed you last night, Jerry, because I was listening to somebody. Not that every, not that we know the exact rates, but this guy went from on the Zim, from saying one week fifteen cents to a dollar. Then I listened to him again Friday, and you he's said, all when did you send me an email? I sent it to you last night, asking you this question. What I'm asking you now. And he dropped. Uh, and now he now he's talking like one cent on the Zim now. Not that we know the rates, but I mean the well, like think? like uh, again, we can speculate all we want, but until we're sitting there in front of the person that says, "Show me the show me the money, and I'll show you the money," 
Uh-huh. All it is is we're we're just talking amongst ourselves. Right. And at some point, right. you just have to kick back and relax because it, it just it'll make you crazy. And and that's what I've done. And that's that's mm-hmm. the idea that I've I've adopted. And it's maintained my sanity to this point. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. So I was multitasking. Going down the list here, and I noticed they didn't raise their hand, but I want to do a shout out. And no, I'm not going to bring you on, and I'm only going to do the first and last initial. It's on the web, and JT, thank you for all you've done. And I think you you know who I'm talking to. You've been around. I just don't want to give out your name. You've been around. You've been on some other sites. We have had our difference of opinion. We've patched it up. I commend you for seeing the light. And of course, now I'm going to I'm going to say this. I can be a little gruff and a little rough around the edges, but at one time there, I just I didn't want to have to deal with the with the stuff on the on the forum. So I let other people handle it because it was just something I didn't want to do. But anyway, thanks for hanging around. Thanks for listening. And you can spread the word. People like yourself. Best form of of flattery for me is if you talk about the things that you and I have been through and, and what's transpired. So, thanks. Now, Beaverton, five oh three, come on down. Well, I just want to say to you, Jerry, and to Ico, and to Art, uh, you are a great gentleman, and it's been a joy. Uh, what are you going to do for redneck withdrawal when you don't have to get the energy for this <laughs> call every day? <laughs> uh, I've got I've got wingman to abuse, and and you know what? I I can see that my consumption of blue moon might go up just a tad, maybe you know, maybe not much, but a little more than it is, and. Well, if you ever run out, just uh, you know, call up. We'll hook you up with a direct tap from all the micro brews up here in Oregon. Uh, they'll they'll keep you squared away too. <laughs> I'll be a happy oh, kid. What know. is a, what do they call what do they call uh, beer in a can? Vacation. Yes. <laughs> a break. <laughs> yes, sir. No, that it. There's going to be separation anxiety on our end. Uh, a friend of mine actually gifted me a small amount of currency uh, several years ago. And I thought, you know, this isn't going to go. I, they were still back when um, Iraq was still in uh, bankruptcy. And I thought, no, that just, you know, I said, there's stuff there, but I don't think it's that. Anyway, I've listened to several other calls since then, and I'm, I'm kind of semi-retired and after a divorce, semi-broke. <laughs> uh, but I, you know, I saved up and got some additional. And I've listened to other calls, and it really, this is the, the finest call that I have enjoyed. And I just looked at it, and I was listening to one lady, uh, the, the travel lady, and I was listening to what she was saying. And I finally, you know, you look at what differentiates your call from others. And I think one thing that I noticed both from you and and Art and also Ico, there's a spiritual grounding, you know, and I kind of look at this, uh, you know, you and me, everybody on this call, we never thought we were going to have this kind of economic uh, liberty that we could help other people. It reminds me of the story of Esther. Oh, hold on, hold on just a second. Yes. Uh, There you go. I see you raise your hand. Don't, I'll get to you in just a second in Missouri. Because uh, you're a you're a flash from the past. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Beaverton. You bet. Just like with Esther, it's for such a time as this. And I think that call went out to you gentlemen, and you came online. And I just appreciate uh, the wealth of experience that you bring forward, and the home cooking with a cold blue moon to go with it. <laughs> but I think you oh, know, oh. And I'm glad you brought up home cooking. I found 
You ever heard of powdered Worcestershire sauce? No. Ooh, it's it, awesome. It'll make you a true believer. <laughs> <laughs> I I yeah, sent a little Texas care package to Wingman and and I sent him some uh, powdered Worcestershire sauce and he goes well he took a little you tell him about it Wingman well I, I you know I, I I tasted it on the end of my finger and I, okay so I taste Worcestershire and and all that but what it does is when you put it on the meat it it gets down into the, the the juices while it's cooking, and I, I'm I'm telling you, it's 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 a it's an amazing season. It really is, and it's wow. and it uh, uh, it turns you it turns you into in in the eyes of of people who who you normally cook for. All of a sudden, you're a chef. You know, it's like wow. Yeah. What would you, you do to this? You know, and I was like, I'm not telling you. You know. <laughs> so, <laughs> not yeah. just a beer so you see, with the label. You see it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you, if you see it somewhere, give it a try. It's, it's, it's good stuff. I sure will. No, bottom line, I really looked at this uh, for all you gentlemen. That I think it all comes down to basically a respect that you you respect people, even if you disagree with them. Uh, you extend courtesy. Uh, you're respectful to them. You tell the truth. And the biggest thing is, I think uh, you actually see the potential, the impact, the positive impact that we're going to have through all this. And I think that's just a phenomenal thing. So I just uh, I honor your respect and your truthfulness. I know it takes a lot of time and energy out of you guys to do this, but uh, you get a little fun out of it too. So we're missing you. Hopefully, uh, you know you'll miss us too, and uh, we will see you on the other side. But uh, thank you, I just sir. want to thank you. Appreciate it. One, and one question with you, Ico. You know, we're all talking about oil going up, but the economies around the world yet aren't really cranking that much on the industrial side. So I'm trying to figure out yeah. how are we going to really get the oil to go up. I'm, I know oil is always manipulated a little bit, but if there's not the demand for the economies around the world, uh, how can they get that to go up? And as soon as it goes up, you know, Russia is going to want a bigger piece or Venezuela is going to want a bigger piece or Iran or whoever. But a lot but a lot of their – here's again, you to think, now think about this, okay? The GCR occurs. Right. The the influx of capital across the globe begins to happen. It's not overnight, but OPEC and and the other partners now, all fifteen countries, are seeing are seeing a, a an eventual consumption rising consumption. Okay, so it's you know it's high right. demand. So they they see a world now that can handle sixty bucks a barrel, and they no longer have to fight and manipulate fiat dollars. They can they can actually make plans and stick to them. And if everybody if everybody uh, 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 stays the course on the agreement, then they're taken care of. Because because you know I mean if you, if you read Saudi Arabia's purpose, you know, Saudi Arabia gets that the oil is going to go away someday. So their their big push now is to become a a tourist destination. That's their new industry. Mm-hmm. And you look at cities like Dubai, like what what is Dubai wants to be the financial center of the globe again. You know, and they want to rip it away from New York. They want to rip it away from from Singapore. You know, that Dubai is the place to be. Um, the, all these people are planning for a future that they that they get is now a reality. So so it's not the industrial output that is pushing the price of the oil; it's the anticipation of a stable platform. Okay. That that it's it's creating the environment so that we can have sixty dollar oil. We can plan on it. We know that the money that there we sorry <laughs> oops um, <laughs> that. <laughs> The the uh, that that the money that's going to that's going to be there is it's going to be an asset backed currency. So that eventually uh, reaches parity as well. But the whole idea behind this is that the you know the 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 reason the traditional reason for for warfare, which is really not about territory and about um, uh, it's it's not about physical dominance. It's about it's about financial dominance. 
uh, in the modern world. So if we eliminate warfare and we become and we truly become a consumer service uh, slash industrial economy worldwide with with similar wages and similar living conditions um, and not millions and millions and millions of starving people. You know, one of the projects I'm going to be involved in is is, is relocating the, the population of Bangladesh off that floodplain. You know, that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's mm-hmm. 80 right. million people. You know, there there are projects like that out there that are that are, that are incredible. Um, and we're not getting Maybe too sidetracked here. Those, but but yeah. Marty, sir, that's the, does that that's answer the reason everything? for the $60. Yeah, you know, I, I I know it doesn't answer everything, but it gives you a, a glimpse into why that why that 60 is happening. Not it's not about output; it's about future. Anticipation. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, and uh, honor and blessings to you, gentlemen, and Happy New Year. We'll talk to you when the big bell rings and get the last final instructions before we go into exchange. And, and with that, I say that. cheers. Arrivederci. <laughs> Arrivederci. Yeah. Also, <laughs> if, if, yeah, uh, Springfield, hold on just a second here. I got you unmuted there, 417. Um, if you send an email to the Wing It call, you're also going to get back a response that says um, Jerry's on vacation. He checks the emails periodically. I set that up a while back, but it's kicking in now, and for that reason. Springfield, 417, come on down. Yeah, Jerry, I thought you'd always been on vacation. You know well, what? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. You know, hey, I'm, I'm trying to keep that a secret. <laughs> yeah, really, really. I was just going to say, going to miss your call and stuff. And um, as far as the dinar goes, when it happens, it happens. And uh, the other thing, and I, I need some pictures to see how the kid's growing. Well, you know, just so everybody knows, he, he has my direct number. He and I talk, this, this gentleman here. And he he is a, a dog lover like like I am. I'll, I'll send you one. It's it'll be it's titled the new dog blanket, and I think you get a kick out of it. I'll text it to you. <laughs> okay, do that. And I'm gonna try that Worcestershire. It's a powder. Uh, powder. Yes. Uh, just call me uh, after the call, and I'll tell you where I got it from. Okay, you may have to email me your number again. I locked, dropped my phone in a in a toilet, and it went. <laughs> well, hold on. Don't you know a good plumber? <laughs> well, I, I tried to find one, but you know how it goes. <laughs> so, oh, shoot. Yeah, you got me there. So, anyway, you guys have a good time uh, off your call and stuff, and hopefully this will go and we'll get together. I'll I'll send it to your email. How's that? All right, then. All right, then. I'll let you go. All right, bye. Hey, 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 hey Jer. Bye-bye. Yeah. Jer, I know, I know you got somebody else you're going to bring on. I just I just want to put something out real quick before you do. Um, we're, we're getting near the end of the call here, folks. If there's anybody out there who has something they want to ask, but they're a little afraid to ask it, um, this, is, this is part of being wealthy. Um, that's when you ask. So if you're holding back for some reason, uh, the meeting's almost over. Yeah, ask your question or forever hold your peace. Oh, I just got an email from a gentleman that from JT. You're welcome. I'm a multitasker. Uh Miami, 305. It's me, Jerry. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. This is Lady J. Well. <laughs> this is the house number. Don't put me under the bus. This no, is no underneath number. the bus. No, none other than the bus. Well, okay. I want to share that you guys. All three are a good team, and you gel very well together with integrity, and I greatly appreciate that. Um, my one-on-one education through this, I've been able to meet with, uh, started off with a branch manager. He didn't claim he didn't know anything about it, 
but he set up a meeting with the wealth manager with me. And on the 29th floor, it started off with four people, ended with nine people, and I knew more than they knew. And it's only because of educating myself, getting resources, and discernment. And at the end of the at the end of the conversation, they now are a part and know what's going on. So I'm and how many to listen everybody. to the wing it call now? Say it again. And how many of them listen to the wing it call now? Oh well, hello, hello. <laughs> okay. So I'm saying to go and pull the information, but educate yourself. Um, From our last conversation, private, I have decided to adopt a city. And so I would like to hear more, uh, if you could kind of conclude and twist it, what are some of the things other people are going to be doing? Because we're going to have an opportunity to be a blessing. And I call Art and Jerry, I call you deacons. You really have an anointing in your life. You've chosen to go off, but I hope it's under the discernment of the mighty. And when this happens, we got to remember to stay in touch. And again, may God bless you, and thank you for being there for all of us. Well, you got my number. You know what to do. Yes, yes, sir. Hello. Um, did did you after that meeting? I got one question. Did you go ahead and just hand each one of them your bill for time and advice? Well, they are going to invest in some things. They have some suggestions, um, and I'm gonna they're gonna take care of me that way. I, I know, but still, they they should have they should have gone ahead and just started throwing hundred dollar bills at you for all that time and advice you gave them because you were you were. It's like a seminar. You can start charging like Ray does. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> All right. All righty. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Birmingham, 205. I think I know who this is. They're all coming out of the woodworks. I'm feeling a little nervous. Life settlement. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for taking my call. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've got a little cold. Um a few weeks ago, I called in regarding a concern I had about people giving more than the lifetime exemption. I have not had a chance to talk to Richard, and I do plan to talk to him, but I wasn't trying to raise any firestorm or anything like that. But I did pull all the information off of the Master's Trust website and started reading that, but I haven't gone farther. Just had some issues with a extended family member plus Christmas and all. Anyhow, I'll sure. uh, get with Richard later. Um, and there is no reason for anyone to be concerned about what I had to say in the first place. Uh, why I'm calling a couple of things. Uh, one, uh, after the uh, last call today, is your email still going to be up and available down the road? I think I heard you say you're going to have a, gone on vacation, so I assume it's going to be up uh, so we can send an email. Is that correct? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Uh, next question. Uh, regarding the uh, notice of 800 numbers, if in fact 800 numbers are put out, what's the best way for us to keep tuned into you and get notice that the 800 numbers out? Facebook, Twitter, or the, the website if it's available? I have no Facebook. All I have is email and Twitter, and and those will continue to stay up and run. Now, how often I tweet out, I don't know, and I'll say this because I know what your next question is. If they put the numbers out, whatever they allow me to do, that's the key thing right there. Allow me to do, I will right. do it on my Twitter to put out notification. Okay. Other than that, I can't do what they won't let me. Okay. Right. Who is and they? Last, I don't know. Yeah, that's right, just like the powers of be. Last question is, uh, the I, we bought uh, in, uh, the V&D and uh, so forth from the bank, from Wells Fargo. And I know when I first bought it, they gave me a price that they would sell it to me for. And I said, well, what if I decide to sell it back to you? Uh, and at that time, they quoted a price that was about 25% less 
than what we would have paid for it or did pay for it. That's called the that's and called the buy sell rate, and you're and, and it's twenty right. percent either way of what forex is. Well, my question is, three seventy one, for example, on the Iraqi dinar has been bounced around a whole bunch, and uh, forty seven cents has been bounced around on the V and D. Now the V and D, of course, unless it's changed, is a tradable and internationally tradable currency. Uh, and the IQD obviously is not, in my opinion, because we haven't seen anything. But if we go into the bank, if we just decide not to take the, uh, not to go for a higher rate, take the international rate, because my wife, uh, we're kind of cons- we're older. And well, we're I, I don't, I don't know. I know where you're going with this, and I don't mm-hmm. know. It's all going to be part of the negotiation of, of them, because they they don't have to charge twenty percent. They can say, you know that. what, we'll only we'll only do X amount, but you're still going to have to pay a a, a UST fee, which is one percent. Okay, my 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 direction was exactly what you just said, and that is, we expected you'd have to pay maybe one or two percent for some fee, like you just mentioned, but we just could not see giving up twenty or so percent uh, to any bank. But then I heard, and the reason we're mostly concerned is is we're at the point where we don't want to be in the waning years of our lifespan, so to speak. I'll be 74, and uh, she will be not far behind me. We don't want to be burdened with the concern over an NDA and somebody causing a problem for us and therefore losing what we had worked so hard and stayed in so long to get. So just taking the international rate without an NDA is a more comfortable direction. But now I heard... ICO, I think, say if you exchange the ZIM, you're going to have to sign an NDA. In well, we, we don't we don't know for sure, okay? Okay. So we can speculate, and that's what we're doing. We're speculating until we get there. You know, uh, everything in life is negotiable, especially right. when you start talking large numbers. Right. Okay, so you may have to if you want to go for the large bucks, but otherwise you may be able to negotiate a decent rate without having to sign an NDA. That's speculation. Well, we, that. we we hope. We hope. We hope. Okay, well, those are the only things. Uh, anyhow, instead of all the accolades and thank yous that people have expressed to you, which uh, they expressed better than I can say, I, my wife and I really have enjoyed and appreciate your um, calm approach to everything and and uh, straightforward, straight facts. And we really like uh, the way you have uh, handled you, it sir. as best you can under the circumstances, and, and we thank you, too. And I, my wife and I hope very much that in our travels that we might accidentally catch up and just bump into you someday. We'd love to have a chance to meet you and shake your hand or knuckle-knock or whatever. <laughs> but there you anyhow, go. We, wish, we, we wish for you the best in the rest of your life, and uh, ICOs and arts also. And uh, so, anyhow, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you very much again, and uh, hope our paths cross down the road. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay, Bye. bye. Do we want to talk to uh, lost wages? We can't. You're keeping track of time, right? Yeah. How you doing, Jerry? Good, good. Uh, Wingman's going to have to leave here in a little bit. I'm, I'll probably continue on for a little bit. So, well, I just want to say uh, Happy New Year's. Yeah, just Wait. Happy New Year's, everybody. And uh, Jerry, I think the difference between you and everybody else, you're like a TV host. You just sit there and listen to us and try to help us out. Period. End of story. You don't try to solve anything. You don't try to make miracles happen. You just shoot straight from the hips, buddy. The truth shall set me free and cause me pain and su- pain and suffering. <laughs> Just drink another blue moon; it'll make it go away. Uh, sed- I like to call them sedatives. Have another sedative. So there you go. There you go. Um, and I go quick question. You said the Zen was, or I mean, at the Zen, the dong is still at like forty-seven cents. We're we're well, speculating. We're speculating. speculating. Yeah. yeah. Is that the street rate, or is that the, is there any contract rate for that? Uh, um, again, we won't know till we get that, there. The yeah, forty-seven cents yeah, and is that's the a, speculation. That's the whole speculation too, as to whether there really are contract rates. Right. Okay. Right, okay. 
know. All right, that's guys. All, well, that's all have, old model stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just hope it happens just before the new year. But um, anyway, mm-hmm. guys, happy new year, Dominic from Vegas, and uh, blue moon to everybody. Thank you, sir. Right, bye, bye, guys. Uh, Glendale, last four of your phone number is 2440. Come on down. Thanks, guys. Listen, I had a comment and a question. The first uh, part of that comment is thanks, Ico and Jerry. You guys are freaking awesome. Very informative. Really would help in our land. The second part of that comment is I know that Messenger, quote, unquote, is very sincere. Uh, he'd have a lot more credibility to come on and remind us about how much our government has been lying to us for years. So I do appreciate his, the sentiment of where he comes from. The question is, Ico, since we, we know, and you, Jerry, since we know that uh, the boards are very questionable and you're really the only real credible call, and to Ico's point, we're trying to pay attention in the meantime, what what should we to to stay at point? What should we be doing? Well, keep paying Go attention, ahead, Ling man. Yeah, keep paying attention. Even if you think right. what the person is is telling you is complete BS, you gotta you gotta hang in there. You gotta keep paying attention because mixed right. in with all of the crap is are the real facts. And we have all been educated enough now to pretty much sort out what those facts are. But you got to sure, you got to right. stay in it. Uh, Atonyism. You got to stay in it to win it. You know, you're gonna have to. Yep. You're gonna have to keep following the flow of information and just not get upset and not get hooked into the emotional roller coaster, gotcha. which is which which is a a a uh, which which uh, it's yeah, it's a it's, it has got it's an, oper- it's an operational <laughs> element of the PSYOPs campaign, okay? Yeah. Keeping you emotional is part of the game. Right. So right. If, you can, if you can get out of the emotionality of it, it's a lot smoother ride. All right. Thanks for that, guys. All right. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, sir. All right. So this anonymous, no name, no city, raised their hand. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, sir. Thanks for taking my call. Good job, you guys. I just wanted to say we'll miss you until you come back in February. Hopefully you don't have to come back. Thank you. Um, Good for calling out Bullpucky on some of these people. Um, I can vouch for that lady last week that called in about Bruce's call and the Boomers boost, they don't pay their affiliates, so they cheat their affiliates, so they will very likely cheat their customers. So I would beware of that, Bruce. Um, Not to make light of it, but he's blind, so he can't do his research very well. So if you want to go back and listen to a three-year-old call or something, he says the same thing as he says today, so nothing new. So he just makes up nonsense to keep his sale, selling his wares, like you say. And he's gone through several MLMs that fa- that failed. So. Thank you, sir. Everybody's opinion this, is. Well, it's not an opinion about the cheating affiliates. I can vouch for that. That's a fact. So just. Well, people, you, you have to understand. People, I I have to make a small disclaimer yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it is a fact, and if you cheat one side of the game, you're going to cheat the other side very likely. So I would use your discernment, people, and good practice right now. If you believe that stuff, you're going to you're going to be broke someday with, if this does happen quickly. If you believe some of the stuff he says, so that's that's all. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Thank you for yep. calling in. Thank you. Thank you for participating. Again, if If it wasn't for the callers and the listeners, you're the ones that make the show. I'm I'm just a an MC host, and I try to keep it between the white lines. That's all I do. How much time you got left, Wingman? 
I, I should really wrap it up. Okay, well, you wrap yours up, and I'll keep going for a little longer. Okay, yeah, I just I just want to say, guys, that somebody somebody years ago taught me a, a, a great way to end a meeting, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm, what I'm going to say is, uh, you know, if anything I've said over this past year has helped you, I thank you for that grace. And if anything I've said offended you, I take it back. It is, in the end, not about politics, not about religion. It's all about love, plain and simple. That's that's the thing to focus on, and that's the direction you should put your money toward when this does happen. And I'd like you all to think that a lot of people are here saying when we come back in February, I would like you all to consider that maybe we're not back in February, okay, for whatever reason. Um, my favorite, Jerry Garcia line, you know, you got to get down on the street and have, have a look all on your own. Um, it's very true, very true. It's going to be even more true when we have money. There's going to be a lonely aspect to having this kind of money. But in that, there's also uh, a connection to God. Um, and I'm talking about a universal God here. I'm not talking about the God of any particular religion. So uh, bear that in mind in how you act and how you do. And it's been a privilege. Um, <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a privilege to serve. Uh, and I guess uh, I guess I'll leave it at that. So, my final goodbye. Goodbye. Talk to you later, Wingman. Yep. And I, and I got to say this before he hangs up. If it wasn't for Wingman, he's an integral part of what how this goes. He's the yin to my yang, and. Between the two of us, the good Lord put us together to mash to bring this. Uh, it's kind of like Johnny Carson and Abe McMahon. We, we don't always have the same viewpoints. You can't have two like-minded people, and we're not. And that's a, and I thank him for that. Wingman, thank you, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, thank you. Bye. Uh, Okay, Raleigh, North Carolina, 919. Yes, sir, Redneck Radio. Blue Moon. Blue Moon, Blue Moon. I'm going to miss all your special guests, Mary White, Mr. and Mrs. Topsoil, Richard, the Art Meister, the legend. Thanks. Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. One, and go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. What big thanks to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're so you're so welcome. I'll end it there. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh. You know, I thought back a couple of calls. <laughs> Was on my soapbox, and the next thing I know, first caller, second caller, third caller, even the fourth caller, if I just thought that nobody was watching, God goes, oh, no, no, young man. If I'm not watching, I've got people that will watch, watch you for me. First caller, ministry. Second ministry. Third, just out of the ministry. Fourth one, Jerry, I got them all covered. So there's no running astray on or a, a muck on this one here. So if, if if I thought about telling anything but like it was, 
I have to answer to more than just him. I have to answer to each and every one of you. That keeps me on the straight and narrow. Not that I wasn't going to be there anyway. I'd just fall off the wagon every now and then with a blue moon. But what the hell? Better than sacrificial wine, sacramental, oh, hell, whatever that word is. Orlando, 407, come on down. Good afternoon, Jerry. How are you, buddy? Good, good. Hey, uh, I'm just going to throw a comment out there. Like I said, this will be probably my last call I, I pay attention to because it's just getting the, the BS meters broken. If you know what I mean, it's pegged. Um, I just know, you you know, Ico and you, you always talk about do your own research and check your own facts. Well, look at the facts that are going on in front of you. And the best facts to watch for, and I've mentioned it before, is people, I know it's early in the morning, but if you want to know some good hard facts, watch that, watch those, watch those, uh, those uh, market channels. Watch, watch Bloomberg TV. Watch, uh, watch Fox Business. Because I'm telling you, while you're sleeping, there's other things going on around the world. Those are what we need to pay attention to, and that's what ICO has been trying to teach us. And it took me a while to figure it out. But like we said, as long as we've got our head to the grindstone and understanding this process, not an event, but process, we'll know what to do and when to do it. And you've taught us the best way. I've, I've, I've me and you talked privately a couple times, and you know, I consider you a good friend, and you're not going to lead anybody wrong. But like you said, whenever this call ends today, I'm telling you, the BS the meter is going to be pegged even more because people are going to want you to follow them and follow them and do this. But we have the tools in front of us, and and they talk about it every day, gold prices, silver prices, uh, wealth management offices. It's right there in front of you, and it's getting more and more and more. I think there was uh, – I timed it. 45 commercials for wealth management in an hour. And it's just getting more and more and more. You think, like do you think they're getting ready for something? Sir, I'm going to be honest with you. If if it ain't getting close enough now, we might as well hang it up and wait until the end of 2017. <laughs> but I think we're, <laughs> me personally, I think it's around the corner. I'm not, I can't, I'm just going to put it, be honest with you, Jerry. I, you know, I, I'm, I, you know me, I've told you from the very beginning, we, we weren't supposed to, you weren't supposed to know nothing about this in 2004, 2005. But it, I right. believe it's here. I believe if we're not sitting on top of it, by golly, we're, uh, we're fixing to go downhill quickly. <laughs> That's all there I you go. You. All righty. All righty, <laughs> sir. Thank you, Jerry. Love you, brother. And like I said, uh, this will be an right. awesome call. Thank, thank you, and thank Ico and uh, and uh, Art whenever you talk to them again for me, please. I will. Thank you, sir. So let, let's try to do just a single question here, and then we get through a few people, you know, near the tail end of all this. So Nashville, 615, got a question, please. Hey, Jerry, thanks for taking my call, buddy. Uh, sure. This is my first call. I've been following you. Was a member in your chat rooms and went by rain dancer but what you and uh, I bless, go, bless you to put up with all the bs <laughs> <laughs> listen this has been the craziest ride but it's also been such an education of life not just money but life and people and i can't thank you and ico and art for hanging in there whether you realize it or not, you've created a community. And in February, if we're still waiting, uh, if you guys decide to continue on and come back, do it because you want to, not because you need to or you have to, because I, for one, enjoy meeting and listening to everybody. It's It's just a community. So... And when it goes away, even after this thing hits, and it will hit, I'm going to miss the, the community. And But that's because of what you guys do. You've created something that God has placed in you, and it's for the right time, the right place, and just wanted to thank you. And a quick well, question. You. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I say, and thank you very much. Oh, you're super welcome. Uh, I do, would like to find out where to get some of that powdered uh, <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. But a quick question I had, I, I called the city bank number, and, of course, that, that's a real deal. I keep hearing that uh, five or six other banks have now done it. 
but I don't ever see anybody's name associated with what bank. Uh, I see something where someone went into Chase, but I know ICO had some contacts with Chase. Do you know uh, any of the names that you guys have actually confirmed of other banks that have come on board with that, like Citibank? Oh, yeah. they uh, All the big four or five are on there. Okay. That's what I wanted to confirm because – I never saw anybody give the names, and I don't really trust too many people to say, oh, yeah, but if you guys are saying you know for sure, that's what I wanted to know, and that was my question. And, again, uh, hopefully we're not here in February, but even if this thing did hit, Jerry, uh, I wish you guys would think about maybe a once a month after the fact, Uh, not, again, because we need to or have to, but, because we like to, and I hope you guys enjoy some of this as much as we enjoy it, but that's something God will have to touch everybody's heart on, but I just want to tell you how important you guys have been to us on this roller coaster. It's like you're the oxygen when we come back up from the dip, so you have a wonderful vacation, a great new year, and I just can't wait to get this thing going because I know we're like a bunch of racehorses ready to come out of the gate. And I want to just say thanks to all the other people that come on regular and talk. It's, I enjoy them as much as I do talking with you and Heiko and listening to everything. So just understand if you never come back again what you did create and how God used it and how special it is to so many people around the country. Actually, around the world, we're getting calls from different countries. So you have a wonderful, and I'll get off and let somebody else take up some time. Okay, so if if you for the powdered Worcestershire, yep. If you go to if you go to spicebarn.com, I just mm-hmm. googled powdered, you know, powdered Worcestershire. Yep. And spicebarn.com. Okay. They carry it. And you can Thanks. actually put it in you can put it back in water and and mix it in with a little, you know, ratio for water and it will uh mm-hmm. It'll, it'll turn it'll into go back to liquid Worcestershire. <laughs> yes, you it know, will. It, it makes so much sense, that powder. It, 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 I just can't wait to try it. It really makes sense what Ico was saying about it getting down into the meat. Good heavens, I can't wait. All right. I sent him, tex- him a Texas care package. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Spring Springfield, Ohio. Nine three seven. Jerry, how you doing, buddy? Good, good. Hey, uh, unfortunately, I drove down from Ohio to Florida yesterday in the mild traffic of uh, Atlanta. Made it in seventeen hours. Normally, mm. it takes me fourteen and a half. <laughs> but Ico made me get up because he said, "Get up and ask your question." Before I left last Thursday, I think it was, I called the. Uh, Apple down or not Abbott Downing guy down here in Florida, saying I was coming down and I wanted to talk to him about this exchange. And he says, you know, you and I've talked before, and Abbott Downing is not involved with this situation. I've tried to explain it to people, and so this is like, oh, I don't know. Like I said, I talked to him four, five, six times, so he's explained this to me each time. He says they are not involved in this thing. Bless his heart. Yeah. We we won't we won't know, and the proof's in the pudding. I'm waiting for the pudding because I'm hungry. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely. Yeah, you know what? It, it everybody's saying no, 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 and then when it goes down, there's going to be a lot of changes, and we're just what we're going to do is we're going to be respectful. We're just going to say it's good to see you again. Let's take care of business. Yes, sir. Well, I did bring my six-pack of Blue Moon with me that I've had on the shelf for six months. And in tribute to your last show, I've taken my last sip of the six-pack in justice to the jury show. Well, thank you. Now, you know that the best way to drink Blue Moon is after it's been in the refrigerator for, you know, a couple hours, you pull out a bottle and you put it over in the freezer and you set your timer for 20 minutes. And when it goes beep, 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 you pull it out, you pop the top, and it's got beautiful 
nice little crystals. And when you take a sip, it's when it's 100 degrees outside, that's like a little taste of heaven. Yes. Well, I'll remember that the next time. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Oh, look, sauce dude. Good afternoon, Jerry. Howdy. Hey, I do. I have a question. Uh, I think you might have had it, answered it before, but um, in the talk about our exchange, is there a, a, a number of currency that would give us a better rate? You know, in other words, if you got a billion dinar, would you, you would you qualify Don't for know. a certain rate? Don't, Don't know. know. We, we just we just talked about that with all the currencies. We won't know whether international, you know, mini contract rate, big contract rate, NDA, no NDA. We don't know. We're just speculating at this point. So, so do you think that it's a good idea to not turn it all in at once, or should we just go in there and find oh, out yeah. what the rate is? No, no, no. Take it all in. Take it all in and negotiate when you get there. You don't. You don't think it'll go up like Kuwait did? Not going to take the chance. Oh, I see. I see. Well, anyway, uh, I I want to throw my two cents in there too, and then I got to get back to work. But uh, I want to appreciate everybody that uh, inquired about the sauce, and uh, I'll be in Vegas next week and Texas next month. So. All righty. Thank you, sauce I'll, dude. I'll I'll see you. All right. Bye. Bye. Greensburg, seven two four. Hello. How are you doing, Jerry? Good, good. How are you? Not too bad. I just wanted to call and thank you. I think you guys have been fantastic. I uh, I really think a lot of you, Art and Ico, uh, and I'm sure there's some others that uh, work with you as well. Listen, I got a little information that I can't pass on over the air, but I can, uh, if you'd like to call me later, you have my number. Uh, can you send me an e from can a, you send me an email, please? I I don't think I can. Um, I can't. Can you um, can you not use well, my? Uh, I can. Let me. I've, I've got so many people that want me to call. Um, I'm limited on time anymore. I'm sure. I'll only give you. I only need two minutes if you want to haul it back. You can, and uh, I'll see if I can't send something out to you. But at any rate, I I, uh, I heard from a, a very dear friend of mine. It's the one I went to college with many years ago. Uh, that works okay. in the Treasury Department, and he's got some good info. So, but listen, thank you for all of your information. You guys have been fantastic. Uh, God bless you all, and uh, I, I missed most of your uh, – I, I couldn't get on. You were jammed up, I guess, and I was just able to get on a little while ago. But uh, are, will this be playable again, or is it over? Is there any way it'll to be, listen to it'll, it'll be playable. It'll be playable and downloadable, which then you can play it all you want up till tomorrow evening. Okay. Great. And so well, as soon as the call is over with, I will tweet out the link, and then you can actually download it. If you get on a computer, you can go to my to the website, and that link that's on the home page automatically, when the call is over, turns into a replay link, and all you got to do is click on the link, and you can download it, or right click and then download it. Okay. All right. Well, I'll I'll go on to the uh, I'll I'll pick it up somehow. And, uh, okay. like, again, I, I just want to thank you for everything that you guys have done. You've helped us tremendously. And I know that everyone has said that so far on this, but it's true, and we do appreciate you. Thank you, and God bless. And um, if you can, thank give you, me sir. a call. Take All care. Right. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Salem, not to be confused with, oh, is it, is it Salem out there where they burned the witches? No, it's Oregon? West Coast, Jerry. Ah, no, it's Massachusetts. My bad. How you doing there? Yep, uh, good. How are you? Just 
Doing great. Good. Uh, I'm not going to reiterate everything that everyone else already said. It's taking too much time to do all that, but I will suck in it. Everything that's been good to, that's been said is definitely true. Much appreciated everything you've done. I've been on every call except for maybe the first week or two that you started. Um, I was on about four or five months ago and talked about doing a uh, currency exchange on currency, uh, the VND. I had to pay electric bill and have some extra cash and so forth. But everyone keeps talking about this UST fee, and there is no UST fee that we pay, unless they've changed something at least. I can say that definitely because they exchanged out of Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo has an online system, so all they do is they verify the currency through software right on screen. So that's not an issue either. Um, the only reason I would have paid any fee at all is if I didn't have a Wells Fargo account. And then I'd mm -hmm. pay a $7.50 fee no matter what amount you exchange. I exchanged $3 million and didn't pay any more than $7.50. I had a Wells Fargo account, but it had gotten closed because of going through financial issues. So it was right. closed at the time, so I had to pay that $7.50. So that's just an update for everybody. Everyone's been talking about that UST fee for a long time, but it's evidently wrapped into the exchange rate itself. It's the only way I can take it. They also give you a sheet. It's kind of like a receipt, but it's an 8 by 10 printout. And that, I believe, is that sheet that everyone's always questioned. Make sure you get a copy of this. Make sure you get a copy of that. Well, that's automatically provided to you. Um, I do have a couple things. You have not given a update for quite some time on soil, dude. And also, there was a uh, general dynamics contract uh, article out. Never heard any more on that. So I was going to ask you to give us updates on that. The other thing... And I know you said two questions, but I didn't take a bunch of time up front. Um, have I, I'm sure you know about what Tony and DC did way back when with the TN tweet tweet, where their contacts were saying they were going to guarantee us a certain amount of money on the contract rate just for the dinar. I've always questioned if there's any kind of contract rates on the other currencies, but I'd definitely love to hear, and I was hoping to get Ico's opinion on this too, but definitely love to hear if you think there's going to be you know, just an opinion on if there's going to be a contract rate, at least on the dinar. And that's all I'll say. Again, thanks so much for everything you've done. You guys are the greatest of everyone out there, a bunch of bozos. And that's all that needs to be said. But thanks again, Jerry. We're going to miss you guys. Thank you, sir. So, soil dude, no update. I was hoping like everybody else, but... And believe me, trust me, I did ask. No update. Sorry about that. And contract rate, don't know. I'm just taking this stance. There's been so much BS out there that now just hold your cards to your vest, walk in, sit down, smile, listen, listen closely. Don't ask a billion and two questions. Listen. Write your questions down and then ask one or two. And don't ask a, a billion and two questions after that. Keep it simple. Keep it straightforward. And then start hollering, Jerry said, show me the money. No, don't do that. Please don't do that. I don't want to get in trouble. All right. Richmond, 804. Hey, Jerry, I'm on? Yeah, you're on. Uh, you mind taking a call from a former call host? This is J.R. Denar. How you doing? Uh, you have to forgive me. I don't. It's I'm, it's not ringing a bell. Yeah, I'm an old TNT loyalty as well. Uh, I actually took the challenge like you did uh, from a former T from a TNT host that said, if you don't like what you're hearing on this show, go start your own call. So. I started the real, real talk, real solutions with J.R. Denar called probably right after you did, and and basically, you know, for the audience out there, it takes a lot. Number one, to step up to the plate to start your own call, which I give you guys a lot of kudos for that. You know, it, it's it's lot, it's it's more than just getting on a call and try to hold a conversation, especially when you're coming from the heart and you want to give information that is very valuable not just speculation and, and whatnot to give planning. So uh, I often always said, man, you, you brought up the question that I asked a long time ago. How come all the groups can't get together? Because everyone has their own agenda and they have their own plan and they have their own speculation 
Do, do, do you have me on? Or am I on speaker? Um, I'm actually, I got a Bluetooth. I'm not on speaker. I'm on yeah, Bluetooth. can you take I'm me off your Bluetooth and just talk on your phone because it's got, I'm getting a little bit of feedback there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, that's better? Yes, that sounds better. Okay, well, basically we're not going to stretch it out, but, you know, I took the challenge and started my own call, and I know what it takes to actually, number one, step from behind the curtain. You know, you, you have to have a plan. You have to know what you want to deliver to the people, and it's not as easy as people think it is to do a, your own call. And I agreed with you a long time ago that with all of these speculative gurus out there that we've been following over the last, for myself, six years, you're never going to pin them all down into one circle because there are a lot of us, like myself out there, who have some very pinpointed particular questions that they know that they don't want to answer because it would knock the whole game out of the ball. And you guys done your due diligence. You've made your best effort. And now it's time to draw the curtain close. And I respect that. You didn't come in with a lot of fanfare, a lot of hype, and a lot of hopium. And that's what I did with my call. I wanted to get just to the specifics of this is what you need to know, regardless of whether the rate is 86 cents to a dollar or $30 on the dinar. You still need to have your plan. But at the same time, I'm feeling at this point, here we are again at the end of another year, and Deja vu, you know, que sera, sera. and Yeah, well, there, the, and, and you and I both know that there's a lot of different things happening now that makes this more pliable yeah. and believable that we're at the end of this ride. And it's just a wait and see. And my whole yep. thing is to answer the other question that I think Ico had, you know, what if this isn't meant for me? You know, you get callers that have talked about who they've lost along the way. And, and myself included, you know, if this is not meant for me, I've had, I put in place for those who will receive this if it's not meant for me. So you have to look at the full spectrum. I appreciate you guys making your best effort. And if you come back in February, like the guy says, I hope it's because we're just talking about having some fun together or whatever. But at this point, really, 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 there's nothing and nobody out there that, that that is showing me, uh, someone who has done my own due diligence to collect my own intel, to collect my own contacts, uh, after January the 20th, what can really...